Praise the Lord. Um, today, I want to speak um, briefly about relationship. Relationship. Because having been in the ministry for a while and uh, stationed here in Des Moines, Iowa, I've been privileged by the grace of God to cancel some uh, marital challenges you know i've been able to uh, talk to uh, people out of their marital challenges and one thing i realized is that they don't own responsibility of whatever that is going on in their marriages or relationship you know it's easy to blame the devil and I don't know why people do that sometimes you give you give devil undue credit you you give devil credit he doesn't deserve by making him to feel so important you know take for instance when a spouse cheats on his or her partner let's say the husband cheats on the wife what and instead of the man to apologize or to repent, own, take ownership of that, of that uh, um, misdeed. Instead, the man will blame the devil. What's the business of the devil with you cheating on your wife? You hit your spouse, you beat your spouse, apologize and repent. You blame the devil. Do you know why God called David a man after his heart? Because David was so submissive to the will of God. Whenever David misbehaves and the word of God comes to him, he takes ownership. The, Bi the Bible says he tore his garment several times. As a king, tearing his garment is a sign of submissiveness. It's a sign of showing remorse, being remorseful. I had never read in the Bible where David blamed the devil. He took ownership of it. Because he knew it was lack of self-discipline that prompted him to do what he did. Many pastors, when they cheat on their, on their spouse, their wives, you see them on television, they'll have the woman beside them. And they will not take ownership. They say it's the devil. Really? Stop that. Carrying anointing does not make you a superhuman anointing exposes you to infidelity if you don't know know it now if you carry anointing the authority the power of god in you it does not exempt you from 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 infidelity it exposes you to it because women love popular things they love a strong man they love that man because you're a man of god the Bible says the gift of God in a man makes ways for him and brings favor to him before great men. Your anointing brings you closer to beautiful women. It is not the anointing that protects you or stops you from sin. It's self-discipline. When you have respect, when you value what you carry in your inside, that's what makes you not to sin. I used to have a friend then she was an addict. She smokes a lot. Before she eats, she must smoke. Before she uses the restroom, she must smoke. After eating, she must smoke for her food to digest. <clears throat> One day, I took her out and, uh, you know, I observed that she wasn't smoking. I asked her, I didn't, you didn't smoke. <clears throat> Excuse me, you didn't smoke. She said yes, because she was pregnant then. I said, okay, so what has that got to do? She said, because of the baby she carries, she can't smoke. Self-discipline. I was like, wow. A, an addict. She, a chronic addict. But she valued the baby in her womb. So men of God should value the anointing. It's the value you placed on the anointing that will make you not to sin. Not to cheat on your wife. I can't do that on my wife. I can't do that and be preaching the gospel to you. I can't. I cannot. 
cheat on my wife because when I cheat on her, I am cheating on God. So I can't come here talking to you about God and being an idiot behind, uh, behind the camera. No. So it's self-discipline that makes you not to do it. Now, going back to relationship, let me tell you something. There is no relationship that has a problem. No relationship, mark my words, has a problem. But the problem is you. You bring problems to your relationship. Let me phrase it so you can understand what I mean. You met a girl or you met a man, you fell in love, and you guys decided to get married. All of a sudden, boom, the relationship packed up. There was no problem when you guys fell in love. But it's the attitude that most of you are allowed in your relationship. That is the problem. So there is a problem in every relationship. That, but there is no relationship with a problem, a stagnant problem waiting to occur. No. It is you that brings in the problem or you allow a third party to bring a problem in your relationship. Perhaps your parents-in-law. Perhaps you allow your mother to control your wife. Perhaps you allow your siblings to control your wife. Or vice versa, your husband. You allow a third party. The Bible says, what God has joined together, no man puts asunder. So let us understand this. And stop giving devil undue credit. Take responsibility. When you take ownership, then the healing starts. But when you give credit to the devil, you expose yourself to ridicule. You expose yourself to spiritual bankruptcy. Take ownership of it. And stop glorifying Satan. He doesn't deserve it. If I wrong you, I will take ownership and I will apologize because I wronged you. I cannot come and glorify the devil by saying, oh, it is the devil. You're a human and you're subject to making mistakes. One day I was watching a documentary about the airplane. It says that the airplane is built to withstand the force of gravity in the air. The airplane is built to withstand the force of gravity in the air. Any form of force in the air is so solidly built. But it says because airplane is being operated by humans, it is subject to human error. Subject to human error. Come on now. You are a human being. Subject to human error. People don't fall out of relationship because they are no longer in love. No. That's why you can see people that are going through divorce, but they are bitter. One person is angry because that person is still in love. But people get divorced because they don't communicate anymore. That's what happened in the beginning. Adam and Eve, what happened to them? Lack of communication. Not that they weren't in love. Don't let the devil blackmail you. Find the curse. Find the, 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 the foundation of the root of your problem. The root of your problem and deal with it. Because when I hear, when I see couples come to me, it's just a very simple thing. But they, they, they fail to diagnose the problem, find the root of it and deal with it. So please, let us stop glorifying the devil unnecessarily and deal with the root cause. Communicate more with your partner. If you, if you commit sin, you cheat on your partner, go and apologize. It will hurt, but the healing starts when you take ownership and plead without him or her finding out. God bless you. And I pray that this message will save a marriage and will save somebody's life because people, a lot of divorces, is, is, is crazy. It's crazy. Lack of communication, not lack of love, is the curse of divorce. God bless you. Amen. Shalom.